to celebrate Jesus. We hope that you've come expecting him to do great things. And if you are visiting with us, thank you for coming. We want to know who you are. Please fill out the tear-off tab. Even if you're here, just visiting mom and you live in California. We still want to know who you were here. We still want to know who you are. So please fill that out. Put it in the offering plate when it's passed in just a little bit so we can know that. And, uh, also, you can use that uh, for prayer requests. We have a we have a, some people that meet on Wednesday night um, for prayer uh, service. If you would like for that prayer request to go um, to that group on Wednesday night, and if you would like to join them, they meet right back there at 5.30 in the, in the choir room on Wednesday nights. You can join them. And uh, if you would like that prayer request to go to them and be prayed over, you can mark that on there as wanting that to go, or maybe you want it just to stay in the office, you want to stay confidential because some of that stuff is, you can put that on there and we won't share that with anybody but just between Chris and I in the office. So please use uh, that towel tab. Well, we're glad you're here. I do want to, to let you know, if you don't know, most of you do, that Charlie Ray uh, Jenkins passed away last night, about 9.30, and uh, his, his struggle uh, in this world is over. And he's with Jesus. And, um, he lives. He leaves behind a lot of sad people, a lot of sad family members. I talked to Joyce about 15 minutes ago, and um, she just really broke up and just says, just "Please pray for them. We will, and, um, and we can love on them and walk through them. We don't know any uh, details on services. They meet nine o'clock in the morning, so probably sending out a text about um, probably." 11 o'clock tomorrow and we'll let you know what the service time. We do know that it will be here. The service will be here. Amen. So just letting you know that, lift that family up. In fact, we talk about that. Let's do that right now. Father, we pray for Charlie Ray's family. Thank you, God, that he is wrapped up in your love uh, this morning. We are so happy that he is not hurting anymore. Thank you, God, for him and how the impact that he has had on my life and the lives of so many people in this room. God, we just lift that family up, help us as we walk through it with them, and that, God, they will grow stronger as a family through this and be so thankful of what they have. So we pray all that in your son's name. Amen. All right, Carl's going to play something. Y'all go hug on each other this morning. <laughs> We did Disciple Now for the students back in January. I just kind of thought about that and said, man, we, we, we can do this very thing with our kids. So I spent some time with the kids' team and said, hey, what do you guys think about this? And I said, absolutely, we're on board. Let's do this thing. And so we spent time together, planned it out, and we got some great leaders here who did an incredible job. Um, uh, and what we did pretty much was we did not spend two nights. We just spent one night. Uh, but we did Bible study, um, a Bible study on uh, uh, David. Uh, we did a mission project, and these kids, <laughs> kind of like we did in our disciple out with our students, these kids, that's what they want to talk about is the mission project. They really enjoy being able to go out and be able to go and uh, serve other people. Uh, we did a fun little scavenger hunt, uh, but we just spent time together, which was really, really huge time. Time in the Word, time together. God does some amazing things with that. So um, I'm going to let some other kids share just a little bit. I've got Hannah Johns. This is my daughter. She's going to come up here. A little, come on. She's like, oh, I'm going to Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. She's going to share a little bit. I'm not sure. She, she's probably going to share about the canned food drive. But uh, talk to us a little bit about maybe something that you experienced that was fun and good. I'm Anna Johns, and um, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> uh, well, we went to go knock on one door, and a man um, came to the door, and um, uh, he came, and we said, would you like to 
that I sent on camp food to the <laughs> Salvation Army, and um, he said, sure, and when he came back, um, he said, I'm sorry, but I don't know what I could give you because he was blind, and he didn't know what he gave us, so that was special to me. Good deal. Thank you, Hannah. And these kids were That's good. Carter's going to come up next. But what we did was we showed them how to do that. They actually, we challenged them. We want you guys to knock on the door. We want you guys to be able to talk to them. So there was a lot of growth because there was a lot of scary kids who were like, I don't want to do this. But they did a phenomenal job. In fact, the kids that I have, I didn't even have to knock on the door. They just, they just took to me. He's changed his mind on what he wants to say. <laughs> what do you want to say? Um. I learned to never check. Like, I learned to never judge anything by its appearance. Cause there's this one house that looked really torn down, and Mr. Tommy told me that the people in there could have been nicer than anybody else. But when we not, they really didn't answer. <laughs> Thank you, Carter. All right, who else did I have? Christian is going. Christian Adams. Share a little bit about, about the weekend. Well, on the day one, we first learned about David and Goliath, and everybody thought he was too young and too small, um, but he actually had one of the bravest hearts. And we learned that it doesn't matter how small you are, it doesn't matter how big you are, if God's on your side, you can accomplish anything. Gail is going to come, and this is Christian's brother, and Gail is about to move up into our youth ministry, and so she did wonderful, and she learned a lot, and she's going to share a little bit with you guys. Hi, I'm Gail Adams. I, went, I was one of the children that went to Disciple Now, and some of the things we did, we did the scavenger hunt, and we went to different places like the levee and stuff, but the thing that really touched me is when we went knocking on people's door. A lot of people were so willing to help. People we didn't even know were caring about people that needed it most. And that was really touching. Let me ask you one question real quick. And I'm going to tell What's one thing that you learned as far as at the uh, canned food drive? Was there anything specific that you learned? That God could work in many different ways to many different people that you would never expect. That's right. That's right. With us. Uh, no, no, no. Come, come on up. Come on up. And I gotta tell you, these these leaders were phenomenal. They they were troopers. They did a great job the whole time. What time is the lights out? Ten thirty? Not. Forget it. I thought after the lady of the house came to the bottom of the stairs and made the announcement it was time to go to bed that that would have some effect. Forget it. So, get plenty of not, uh, rest on Thursday night. Thursday night, because Friday night you're not going to get much. Um, incredible group of kids. Um, and, and I think somebody already mentioned we, we talked about uh, David's life and um, the fact that a lot of people look at the children and think, well, you know, maybe, maybe not. Um, they're uh, they're getting there, y'all, and it's very, very encouraging to see the level of growth and the level of spiritual maturity that these little people are carrying around with. Uh, it's an inspiration, uh, even to some older people, uh, myself included. <clears throat> I just wanted to know that I was proud of them, uh, and 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 the courage that they exhibited uh, in their mission project and. A lot of times if we're talking one thing and walking something else, the message gets mixed up. But when we walk what we talk, then they come along. And uh, so getting out there and participating and serving with them was a blessing to me. Um, and again, I think it was a, it was an incredible weekend. I'd encourage anybody uh, next year if you're eligible to, to participate. Um, but extremely proud of all of you guys. And they didn't get up, and they probably don't want me to say anything. But to the two guys, 
who made sure that we were fed. Incredible weekend. Thank you guys. There was a lot of people behind the scenes that made this happen. Uh, they don't want the recognition, but a good deed deserves such. Thank you. Yeah. 
to join our church and become members of Emmanuel Amen. Baptist Church. We got some time to go. Make sure that you come by and tell them how glad you are that they're here.